But now it shocked me because he said he looked up and said, no, it can garbage. You have, I got 40 points. I'm like, that's nice. He took 34 shots to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Russell Westbrook, and there's no insult to Steph Curry. Russell Westbrook is unguardable. Probably, I mean, he's probably the most athletic player I've ever played against. Oh, it's incredible. Um, you know, just the, the force that he plays with every game, you know, the energy that he plays with, you know, obviously everyone talks about it. Um, it's just, you know, it's a, that's a talent, you know, and in itself a, a, without his ability. So that's a fight you're not looking for. He's, that's a man. Yes, he's a bad You dude. know, if you don't respect and admire Russell Westbrook, there's something wrong with you. And let me tell you something. I've been in this thing for 30 years. I've never seen a player give maximum effort every single night like him. And I am played against the greats. Wait, even Jordan? Even Jordan didn't play as hard as Russell Westbrook does. And Michael's the greatest of all time. But this guy gives maximum effort every single play, every single night. I'm James Harden, and I'm looking at Westbrook. There's no way I can knock if he gets the MVP alone. It, I can't knock that. Because this, this is something, this may be the greatest single season performance we've ever seen. It's the greatest I've ever seen. I think with, with Russ, you almost have to play quick. Yeah. If, if you don't, if he passes to you and you open, you don't shoot it. He get mad at you, so. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had James Harden ahead of Russell Westbrook, I've never, never said this to you before, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, this guy's playing historical basketball. You know, for many years we've been saying, oh, you shoot too much, you're selfish, you need to get, you know, make your teammates better. He's been doing that. Have you run into anybody playing today, young, younger players, that have that same fire, that same passion that you have for the game? Westbrook plays mean. Oh, with a vicious slam! He played mean like I did. With an aggression. Russell's season is the best that I know I, I've ever seen. I played against Jordans and, and wow. all these great players and Kobe's and Iversons and Shaq's. This is the best season I've ever seen. Uh, he's uh, he's like the Energizer Bunny, man. He just doesn't he doesn't get tired. He doesn't get tired, and you know when he, when he had that passion for the game too as well. Um, you know that it's, it's very doable. So you know with that being said, with his athleticism, him being able to go get those rebounds, and he's one of the best rebounding guards uh, ever. He handles the he handles the ball for the majority of the game for OKC, so he's going to get the assists. I think uh, for him being the underdog, I think that he always had a chip on his shoulder. He was overlooked in high school. You know, uh, he didn't make the McDonald's All-American. He yep. was overlooked in college. You know, people didn't think that uh, he would mature and become who he is. And so, and now he's up against, you know, the superpowers. So for him, he's going to always carry that chip. You know, I, I, I liken him to Michael Jordan, you know, just because of his competitive fire and nature. And, you know, it's him against anybody, him against the world mentality. So. You know, I, I think he's great. I think he's going to be great. And, and that chip is what's going to continue to drive him. Russell Westbrook is putting the world on notice. Steph who? Did y'all forget who the hell I am? How many similarities do you see between you and Russell Westbrook? A ton. A ton. I didn't smile much on the court either. You know, so he's, uh, he plays the game with such an energy and such an aggressiveness. You know? I think it needs to be appreciated. He needs to be appreciated. He's not out there trying to be cute with the basketball. He's not out there trying to make friends. These guys are playing hard every time now. It takes a lot of energy to be able to do that. He just never seems to run out of it. If, it was, if I had to say one guy, I'm going to have to go with Russ. Okay. He, you know, that dude, he's leaving it all out there every time. Man. He's out of control. <laughs> out of control, good. Uh, it's fun to watch. I mean, what, what else can you say? You know, uh, it's, if, you know, the season started, somebody said someone was going to do that, you'd think they were a little wacky. You know? But he's done it, deserves credit for it. He's been super. That's a Westbrook, too. I mean, if I'm starting my franchise, yeah, he's a guy that just does everything. Yeah. I mean, if you look at this OKC team early in the season, we all thought that it was just him and just the other guys. 
he made the other guys actually been able to make them look great out there on the floor too. Can you talk about playing um, alongside Russell? You know, he had a big night. Can you just talk animal, about that? Man. Yeah, yeah, animal. Like a creative player, man. You know, <laughs> how, how he play, how hard he goes. You know, I, I see the work that he put in, so I'm really not surprised. And um, I mean, transition, you got a guy like Westbrook that's 100 miles per hour. There, there's going to be some problems regardless. I don't think any, any of these guards could beat him in a one-on-one -on -one game. I think he's been tremendous for the team, uh, been tremendous for his fans, and also for television, because they want to see him play. And he's been getting double-digit assists night after night after night, and he goes triple-double last night. And I'm thinking, wow, this has become a nearly unstoppable force, even though he's only, what do we give him, 6'3"? Is that what you give him? Yeah. Yeah, 6'3". But, but he can jump not out of the gym, he can jump out of the universe. Mm -hmm. Playing unbelievable basketball right now. Yeah. Except for that, man, he's playing unbelievable, and he's pretty much carrying your team right now. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've never seen a, a guy like Westbrook. Let's wow. Let's put that out front. <laughs> okay, you know, in terms okay. of just energy and stamina and coming at you, uh -huh. right? I just think the, the talent level is so incredible. Um, I mean, what Russell is doing this year is epic. Whenever I'm watching Russell Westbrook and he goes berserk, I get a text from Allen Iverson saying, do you see this boy? <laughs> you know, and he obviously means that affectionately. Yeah. I, it's it's Allen Iverson's favorite player. Incredible. I mean, he's my favorite player um, in the league. Um, I have a lot of respect, admiration for the guy. I think the MVP was well-deserved. I called it early in the season. Um, it was a... Uh, um, Epic moment for us fans. Um, I think it's something that we may not see again for years to come. It's something that we thought might never happen. I didn't ever think that it would happen on this level. So that tells you um, what type of player he is and how great he is. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, you just got to challenge every shot that he puts up. Um, he's, a, he's a hell of a player, man. Getting downhill at the basket can make the outside shot. And loves to get his teammates involved. Uh, when you're when you're playing against somebody like that, you just got to try your best to make everything tough for him. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like this man, Russell Westbrook. I had to tell you, he's a flat-out absolute terror on the basketball court. He plays with zero doubt and zero conscience, and I mean that in in a, the most positive, compliment complimentary way of all. Right. Russell Westbrook does not care what anyone else thinks about him. See his fashion choices, right? <laughs> it, it's true, but it but it's significant. What he chooses to wear off the floor, nobody, you know, people, re, you know, yeah. they are all over him. Charles Barkley's all over him, and he does not care what anyone says about him, or about how many times he shoots or how many times he passes. I just I went in the huddle and just told him, you know, man, they're gonna let us back in the game. We just gotta stay focused and just keep pushing, you know, keep getting stops, and that's what we did. Love we got the best player in the world. So. <laughs> Yeah, right. When he's out there, you know, people say he plays like a man possessed, but, you know, the ball goes up, he's trying to get tip dunks. He, he, yeah. he doesn't see himself as a little man. He doesn't. You know, he, he sees himself as a player, a playmaker, and somebody who, if there's a rebound, he can out jump pr pretty much 90% of the guys on the court. So, he can't, you know, that's no matter his rebound. Size, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. He is the Mike Tyson of basketball. When the bell rings, he's coming for you. Whenever he's on the floor, he plays at one speed, and that is fast and hard. What do you think about that, Scotty? I don't know how you can compare boxing to a basketball, <laughs> but if there's any comparison for you to make, it's the way that Mike Tyson started his fight. Mm -hmm. He went at you, he pounded you, till he got you on the mat. Russell Westbrook is the exact same kind of player. Once the ball goes up, you know he's coming, and it's going to be 48 minutes of hail. Mm -hmm. Every time you run down the court, you got to know that he's pushing basketball. But now what I really like is that he got great teammates around mm -hmm. him now. Uh, last season, I mean, we saw him, you know, will to win every night based on a lot of that sort of trade with KD. So, you know, we saw him overexert himself yeah, no, a little it's, bit it's, too it's a, much. It's a great comparison. I mean, because the guy plays at one speed. Right. Um, yeah. He's with tenacity and trying to rip your heart out, and that's who Mike Tyson was. I uh, mean, this guy has got great speed. He's got great strength. He's got great power. He's got an incredibly competitive will. And for a guard, and, and, and Jalen and, and Tracy and uh, Chauncey will tell you, 
I mean, you're going to get the points and assists. This guy's averaging 11 rebounds a game, so. Of course, of course. I used to work out with Russ um, numerous years. Still work out with him whenever I can here and there during the summer. But um, just to see that he's happy, that's the only thing I care about. Um, him and his family, making sure that they are right. He's happy. He loves playing the game the way that he wants to play. Um, all the other stuff uh, I leave out. Early, I know you've seen a lot of things in your career, but have you seen a guy get a triple double in the first half? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've never seen a guy get a triple double as many times as he has in the season. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty outrageous, you know, what, uh, what he's been able to do all year long. It seems to fly underneath the radar because of the steps going up there in Golden State and what they're doing as a team. But, you know, he's having a historical season himself. And, uh, 